Hello YouTubers, today we're going to talk about heater plugs. Now, um, this car came to me and they've got the heater plugs but they said that they're having problems starting so they've kind of self-diagnosed the problem, which is okay as long as they've got it right. So I've just been told to put these heater plugs in, so that's what I'm going to do. So that's basically what a heater plug looks like. Some of them are longer, some are shorter, but that's basically. Now, if you've got a four cylinder, obviously you're going to have four and six, you're going to have six, blah, 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 blah. Now, as you can see, well, you might not be able to see, the heater plugs are nestled down in the engine. Two of, the, two of them are really hard to get. Two of them are simple-ish, I would say. One of them is simple, the other three are a bit annoying. But anyway, what you have to um, think about with heater plugs. Now, there is a way of testing heater plugs. I'll maybe do that in another video. But I can tell you here and now, if you're having problems with one of your heat plugs, you're having a problem with two of them, replace them all. Just replace them all. There's no point in trying to replace one because if you replace one, yeah, the car might start easy and it might run better. But you've still got three dodgy ones in there and they're still gonna, you know, cause you trouble. So just bite the bullet, buy all four and be done with it. Now what happens on these heater plugs is as you can see on the top, you've got a threaded bar and then you've got threaded here. This threads into the block and then the power wire threads onto there. So normally it's an 8mm nut that we have to take off first, then take off a couple of wires and then a 10mm which will actually screw out the heater plug. Now what we have to be careful of is depending on the car and depending on the heater plugs and depending on who's put them in, they, these do have a habit of snapping because they're very fine thread and if someone's forced them in and cross threaded them you're never going to get them out again so you have to be really careful if, they, if you feel them maybe going just maybe with stop and there's not really a lot you can do unfortunately but just take your time in taking these out because they can be an absolute nuisance. So the first thing I'm going to do is get an 8mm socket and I'm going to undo the little thing there and then I'm going to try and get the heat plug out and we'll show you once we get it out. So as it turns out, this is one we're going for and it's a 7mm. So I'm just going to remove the 7mm first, the little 7mm nut. You have to be careful because these nuts, sometimes you get new ones with the heater plugs, but these ones we don't and they can fall and they are, it's not a, a nut you're going to get very easy. So a little 7mm. And then on that you have a couple of wires. Well, actually on this one we have two because this is the last one, or the first one, should I say. The others now are only going to have one wire on it. So just move them wires out of the way. Like I said, this one is the easy one to get to. And I'm going to remove the uh, heater plug now. Now this is a set I have. Um, it's designed for heater plugs. You can just use a normal long reach 10 mil. Um, but what this one has, like the spark plug spanners, for a start, it has a piece of um, rubber inside, so it stops these falling out and dropping. Just see it inside there. But not only that, it's actually on a knuckle. So when some of them are awkward to get to, it just makes your life a hell of a lot easier to take them out. Now, we've got to hope these aren't tight. Now I'm only using a 3 8 ratchet. Don't really use a quarter inch ratchet on this because you have too much leverage. Now this one isn't. You can find you can get three three to come out and they'd be absolutely fine or all four can come out and it's only, only maybe one that's um, going to get stuck but all you need is one to get stuck to cause yourself an absolute nightmare so obviously what we need to do before we put the new one in is check we've got the right one for a start that didn't stay in there but anyway now as we can see, that threads are good. Normally they, they can be all full of crap and stuff, but this one isn't. So what we need to basically do is line them up together. Make sure one's not, if this one's too long, obviously it can't go in, it's gonna hit your piston. And it can't be too short, because it's not gonna, it has to be the same size. And these threads really have to be the same as well, do you know? So as we can see, it'll fit. So we know we're right as regards that. And now, uh, and the problem with heater plugs is you can't really tell from the looks of them if they're, if they're good or bad. Now obviously sometimes they are cracked and broke, so that's easy to say. But one like this that physically looks fine might not be fine. I'll show in another video how to test them, but basically what happens with some heater plugs is they glow from the bottom to the top, which is no good. 
you need them to glow from the top to about here and what that does is basically when when you turn the car on if it, if it glows from here upwards it takes a couple more seconds to do that so it won't ignite the diesel as quick and it'll take longer to start so you can actually test the heat you can actually test one of these and it glows really well you think oh that's fine but you have to look closely because it could glow from the bottom to the top i'll show you another video how to test them but in this video we're just going to stick them in and see if it starts any easier but yeah so like i said it's also best just to change all four of them no point messing around just go change all four of them and when you put them back in always screw them down by hand never get the ratchet or anything and screw them as far as you can by hand because that will stop the risk of you cross threading them because this shouldn't get tight for ages if you just do half a turn and it's getting tight you know you have a problem somewhere so as you can see i'm turning this for a good bit and it's just really to give the last bit of it a squeeze just to tighten i know now i, I know now i can put the ratchet back on this because i know it's not a problem but i'm just gonna do it by hand until i get to the bottom down a little bit more to get it down but anyway so i'm just again i'm not going to hold the end of this ratchet too much leverage i'm just going to hold the top of it and just give it a nice squeeze that's absolutely fine and i'm going to put these wires back on just so they're out my way basically this can be tricky because you don't want to drop this thing so is that funny, Danny? What's funny about that? Uh, it's usually at this point you drop it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> well, I didn't. So there. Nah, it's good. You know what you're doing. Here's his experience. Here's the bullshit. Now, I know that's on. What I'm going to do next is because obviously especially number four or actually that's technically number one which is in behind here i just can't get to so like i always say it's best to strip everything off because it's just going to make your life so much easier i'm going to take off the actual sockets the sockets the plugs for the injectors i'm going to take all four of them off one two three four i'm going to take off this bar which is two 10 mils i'm going to get that out of the way and get as much stuff out of the way as i possibly can to make it easier for me to actually do the job because believe me you don't you want to be making sure when you're putting these heater plugs down that you're not at any sort of funny angles you want to make sure you're at the best angle possible so we're going to take all this stuff off and then we'll turn the camera back on now this woman was complaining about a car being hard to start and she thought it was a heater plug this is number two heater plug and as you can see on it look at all that oil just absolutely caked in oil now there's not necessarily a problem with the with the plugs. What could be the problem is maybe the valve seals could be gone. And I'm not saying they are, but I'm saying it's a possibility. The valve seals are gone and that's why it's pumping oil in. That's why it's hard to start, especially in the morning. Um, the way you'll know if your valve seals are gone, especially when you change gear, you'll see a puff of blue smoke coming out your back. And you know, if your mates behind you, you'll see blue smoke coming out your back and you'll be also losing oil. So you'll know if you've got that sort of problem. But obviously it's always best to change the heat plugs first because it's the cheapest and the easiest thing to do first. But if you see something like that, there's a chance you've got another problem. Now, as you can see, like I said, I was going to take off this, which is for the, um, for your, um, for your um, um, injectors. But obviously we've still got wires coming here and everywhere so i can't get it off properly again i can pull this the actual filler cap off but i can move it out of the way and i can kind of get to them number four I mean, you might not be able to see on camera i can't even see but number four is right down there yeah. i don't know if you can see mm, that not really no <laughs> yeah num anyway number four is right down there completely sorry number one um so i'm gonna have to start taking all this metal um 
tip off here and try and then get to it but i'll show you that once i get that far now as you can see we've got this off well we've half got it off because there's just so many wires just connected everywhere to this thing there was four bolts on it two up the top one at the side and one right underneath where the actual hand pump goes i can't take anything off properly because it's just going to take way too long but as you can see i can now get to number one plug so we're just going to film this one and see if this one comes out full of oil again numbers two and three sorry uh, three and four were good they were they were dry um now what i mean you, you expect like there's a tiny bit more there but nothing you know it, it's mainly dry so don't be worried if you see it's the difference between the two that's yeah. what you need to worry about yeah. you know and like i said it's so important to make sure you get these on properly because if you cross thread this or damage it taking it out you're in a world of trouble the head has to come off and as you can see on this one to take the head off the engine has to come out i don't know why Kyujo do this that the engine's like tilted 15 20 degrees it's not actually straight and it's halfway underneath it's what well, i know why i do it it's to save um get you more room inside and stuff but it just makes it a nightmare for uh, you to work on it other good thing to do is if you have a problem with these connections i don't know if the camera can see this down here the actual power connections go into the uh, heater plug you can actually just give them a quick clean with um sandpaper and that can actually solve solve a lot of problems too but what you want to make sure is you get this on nice and straight as you can see that is as straight as i can get it. it's nice and straight so when i actually do come to take this off i'm on it's, it's straight and i'm not twisting it so hopefully if it's going to come off it's going to come off Now, as you can see again, absolutely Swimming. covered in oil. So I'd say the problem on this car is Bad. not so much um, problems, not so much problems with the heater plugs. More so, there's oil going into the cylinder, um, and that can be that can be a few ways. It can be with the pistons. It can be you know with the with the the piston rings. Could also be a top end problem, um, but more than likely it's the valve seals more than likely um, so we just have to put it all back together and tell the customer and go from there now youtube is we put it all back together and it was an absolute nightmare bad pujo bad pujo but anyway what we're going to do now is going to start it well johnny's going to start it wave johnny Hello. Right, and we're going to see what happens out the back, if anything. Go for it. Got nothing. What's that noise? Well, as it turns out, obviously nothing, but we've just put them in, so you might not see anything straight away. Rev it up! Rev it up! Go on, rev it! Now, okay! Well, all I can say, YouTube, is obviously we're not seeing anything there, but um, basically, basically, what I'd say is it's a thing to keep an eye on. Um, you might only see it when you're changing gear, especially if it's to do with your top end keep an eye on your oil levels and stuff like that um, but there is definitely too much oil in them but I hope this video helps this is on a Peugeot 307 I believe um, heater plugs nightmare good old Peugeot's eh but I hope this helps thumbs <laughs> up the video and subscribe don't forget get your hands dirty see you for the next one